Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today, I'm going to be showing you one of the strongest lightning builds you can make in Elden Ring. You will be extremely surprised with just how much destruction you can cause using this build. Extremely high damage lightning abilities, very fast melee attacks, and you're going to feel unstoppable. Quick shout out to our sponsor, AoE.com. If you don't want to grind for items or runes and you want items real quick, use my code COLD for 3% off. This build was actually inspired by Raiden from the Mortal Kombat series, the Thunder God. I really tried my best to replicate that character in Elden Ring as much as I possibly could. I have to say, this is definitely one of the strongest builds I've made. It's definitely on par with pure intelligence or even intelligence strength builds like the one I made in the past, which by the way, you should definitely check out. It's very overpowered. I will put a link at the top of the screen right now if you wanna watch it. For this build, you really wanna focus on both faith and dexterity. Obviously with faith, the higher our faith, the more we can utilize the super powerful lightning incantations in the game. But obviously with dexterity, we want to have really good melee damage and we also want to be able to take advantage of the bolt of grand sax the best lightning weapon in elden ring this build has extremely deadly lightning abilities very high damage melee attacks and most importantly it is extremely reliable making this one of the best lightning builds in elden ring As with all my videos, I really like to show you guys what this build would look like at different level brackets. So we took a trip over to Renala, the Moon Queen, to respec our attributes. Starting with level 50, you can see here that we prioritized three attributes on this build, Vigor, Dexterity, and Faith. Around level 50, your attributes would look something like this. We have Vigor at 30, Mind at 15, Endurance 11, Strength at 15, Dexterity at 20, Intelligence 10, faith at 20 and arcane at 9. Once you get closer to level 100, again the same principles are going to apply. We want to make sure we prioritize HP, dexterity, and faith. Once you reach level 100, your attributes will look something like this. For vigor, you could have 45, mind 20. Again, as you start to level up, you want to make sure you increase your mind over time because the more mind you have, the more focus points, the more incantations you'll be able to cast, which means more lightning abilities. Endurance at 15, endurance is not really gonna be too important because our equipment load is gonna be light to medium. Strength at 15, dexterity at 30, intelligence at 10, faith at 35, and arcane at nine. Once you get close to level 150, which is typically where most people like to stop leveling up their characters, your attributes would look something like this. For Vigor, we have 60. We made sure to increase our HP as much as possible. We also increased our mind to 30. We have Endurance at 20, Strength at 15, Dexterity at 40. Keep in mind, in order to equip the Bolt of Grand Sacks, like I mentioned, the best lightning weapon in Elden Ring, you need at least 40 Dexterity. So we made sure to prioritize this for our endgame setup. Intelligence at 10. Faith at 50, our second highest attribute. Again, faith is going to be important because the higher our faith, the more damage our lightning abilities are going to do. And then we have Arcane at 9. So I'm currently level 250. I chose to stop leveling up my character after about new game plus five, I believe. Right now I'm currently in new game plus seven. So keep in mind your journey from level 150 to 250 where I currently am, is going to be mainly prioritizing vigor, dexterity, and faith. Now, once you get these attributes to a comfortable level, well, that's when you can start to increase other attributes. For example, mind, endurance, strength. So that's the main thing to remember. Now, I have Godric's Great Rune equipped at the moment, so all my attributes are gonna be increased by five. You can see here for my vigor, I have it at 65, mind at 43, Endurance, 35. Strength, 27. Dexterity, one of our highest attributes, along with Faith. We have both at 85. Now that we took a look at the attributes on the build, the first thing I want to show you guys is the weapons that we are using. First weapon here, we have the Bolt of Grand Sacks, fully maxed out, plus 10. One of the best 
lightning weapons, and Elden Ring. What makes this weapon so good is the Ash of War Ancient Lightning Spear that destroys anything that it touches. This weapon actually scales with both strength and dexterity. Keep in mind, attributes required to use this weapon, you need at least 20 strength, 40 dexterity to use this weapon to its full advantage. With all my videos, I put links in the description below for every single item that I went over. But this weapon is incredible and you definitely need it for a lightning build like mine. So I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go to get it. If we open up our map and we go north, we can head over to the Lindell Ashen Capital. And this is where you need to go to find this weapon. You're going to see a huge needle in this area right here that actually resembles the weapon itself. I've progressed through too much of the game to show you exactly where the needle is, but it's going to be in this area right here. All you have to do is climb on top of it. The item is going to be directly in the middle. You can see here I also have two Ujikatanas, very good weapons, fully maxed out, plus 25, 258, plus 350 physical attack power. These weapons are going to hit extremely hard, and what else is nice, we are also taking full advantage of the bloodhound step ash of war this is going to make us very quick very hard to hit and extremely deadly what you guys should definitely do next time you sit at the site of grace and you go to your ashes of war and you decide to use this build make sure when you choose the bloodhound step you go with the keen affinity there are many affinities here but the keen affinity is going to give you the most amount of damage for your katana we also have a seal on this build since faith is one of our primary attributes we need to make sure we have a seal on the build so we can use our lightning incantations I'm using the Erd Tree Seal plus 10, fully maxed out, incredible attribute scaling, S tier for faith. Keep in mind though, in order to use this specific seal, you need at least 40 faith. Since we are discussing the seal, I think now is a great time for us to take a look at the incantations that we have on this build. The first thing I always recommend, especially before you go into combat, is to use the Golden Vow blessing of the Erd tree and flame grant me strength incantations golden vow is going to increase our defense and offense by 10 percent blessing of the Erd tree is going to heal our hp quickly over time which is always good to have and of course flame grant me strength which is going to increase our offense by 20 percent the first incantation that we are using on this build is actually the lightning spear now this is going to be your most basic attack on the build it's pretty reliable and will carry you through most of the game what i like most about this lightning attack specifically it doesn't use much fp at all and it's really good for enemies that don't have too much hp look at the bolt of grand sax as an upgraded version of the lightning spear Spear. Once you get your hands on this weapon here, you're not going to find yourself using the original lightning spear very much. Next up, we have the honed bolt, which is actually a pretty good incantation. What's also good about this incantation specifically, it doesn't use a lot of focus and it can be spammed a lot. Next up, we have Lanceix's glaive, which is really good and it's going to be one of your higher damage lightning abilities. The reason I like this incantation a lot is it has a huge area of effect allowing you to kill many enemies in the vicinity. Uh, really good for clearing out mobs of enemies specifically, as you can see in the gameplay here. I mean, you can pretty much take out everybody. Um, as long as you time it correctly, obviously, it's going to be extremely effective. Next, we have the Frozen Lightning Spear, which is actually one of my personal favorite. There is a delayed attack near the end, but it's going to hit extremely hard, and it works very well on higher level enemies. The last incantation we are taking advantage of is the Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. This is similar to the Ancient Dragon lightning spear on the bolt of grand sax in our right hand here consider this as a higher tier version of the honed bolt so technically if you wanted a more simplistic approach with this build you could get rid of the lightning spear and the honed bolt prioritizing lanceix's glaive frozen lightning spear and the ancient dragon's lightning strike using bolt of grand sax as your main range lightning attack for the apparel, I tried my best to replicate Raiden's outfit for Mortal Kombat. This is really the best items I could find. Obviously, the Iron Casa is going to look incredible with this build. The Preceptor's long gown was the only blue robe that I could find. It was difficult looking for something else. You could also go with the War Surgeon gown if you think that looks more like Raiden. I also have the Battle Mage wraps around my arms 
and the battle mage leg wraps for the greaves the next thing we're going to take a look at here is the talismans that we are using on the build starting with the phlox canvas talisman which is going to greatly raise the potency of our lightning incantations we are also using the shard of alexander one of the best talismans to use in elden ring this is going to greatly boost the attack power of skills which means our bolt of grand Sack's ancient lightning spear ability is going to do more damage also, this build would not be complete without the Lightning Scorpion Charm, which raises our lightning attack, but lowers damage negation. Last, but certainly not least, I think this is a really good talisman to have, the Green Turtle Talisman, which is going to raise our stamina recovery speed. Believe it or not, the Ancient Lightning Spear ability uses a lot of stamina, and the quicker you can get that back, the more you can spam this. The very last thing I want to show you guys is my Wondrous Physic Mix. So if you want to get more damage on your build, I highly recommend using the Lightning Shrouding Crack tier, which is going to temporarily boost lightning attacks. Pair that up with the Green Burst Crystal tier, giving you even more stamina recovery speed. This is going to be an amazing combination. Thank you guys so much for watching. I seriously appreciate all the support on the channel. If you enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. Also, if you want to see more Elden Ring build guides just like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.